nerds, it's Tierney. Welcome back to my show. So if you've been playing other games, waiting for Mr. Pandaria, you better wrap it up and get it out of your system because we only have two weeks left to go. We're two weeks since patch and there's been quite a few bugs. They fixed a lot of the bugs, particularly the patch they did last night. They worked on a lot of the class bugs that were going on as well as tooltip bugs. So, other various things. I'm actually going to put the patch notes in the description of the video. I don't see why not. And you can check that out if you haven't already. So, also, I found out about a new achievement, the Lost and Found achievement. Now, this one, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. Because you'll be able to do it while you're exploring Pandaria, while you're leveling up. And you'll... Basically just come across things accidentally, I'm sure, but you achievement farmers, I'm sure, are going to spend a lot of time doing this. So basically what it is, is you go around and you find all these different things that have been planted randomly in the zones and pick them all up. You might find weapons, you might find recipes, who knows what other cool stuff that they have hidden. Sounds fun. Anyways, I'm kind of excited about finding sparklies all over the place. So that'll be good. And uh, basically, if you find all the ones on the achievement, the achievement is yours to keep for probably all of your tunes, I assume. It's probably an account wide. There's a new preview up of the Jade Forest, a new Mist of Pandaria zone. So you can see screenshots, Q&As, and the like. I'll put that in the description. This video, I have a feeling, is going to be full of a lot of links. I'm also going to post in the description a link to the two new Mr. Pandaria TV spots. So they're basically the cinematic cut up into a commercial, but it's pretty cool to watch to see what they did. I don't watch TV, so it's probably the only, only time I would see it is on my computer, because that's where it's been 90% of my time. Now before you hear the rumor, half rumor, half truth, I'm going to set it straight. There is uh, information going around about Blizzard putting watermarks in their screenshots. Now these watermarks have information about the game server, nothing to do with your IP address, um, just the game server and information regarding that. So the reason they're doing that is to catch private servers, to catch hackers, to catch people cheating, basically, and um, tampering with their game. So none of your personal information is in that. I know some uh, paranoid people probably instantly thought that that's bad and their IP is going to get put out if they posted any of their screenshots on any websites. None of your information or anything connected with your account is on those watermarks. It's just for Blizzard security and to keep the cheaters out. Follow Ghostcrawler on Twitter. He's actually responding to his players, so you can say whatever randomness you want to say or ask him questions, and he's actually answering. Community manager is Zerim, as well as Greg Street, aka Ghostcrawler, are going to be hosting an AMA, Ask Me Anything on reddit.com, www.reddit.com slash r slash wow. They'll, it's a forum basically where you can put whatever questions you want and they'll be answering any questions they can possibly answer all if possible within the time allotted. Now I didn't see anywhere where this is going to be ending. It started today at 5.30 Pacific time and it's gonna basically hopefully go on for all of today, maybe longer. but. I hope you can catch them, go there now, and I will put the link in the description so you don't have to like rewind the video if you missed the link. Fishing, you may have noticed in the last patch, fishing no longer requires a fishing pole. If you have one of the awesome fishing poles, which I do, so I was like a little bit stressed out about this, I was like, why I can't get my bonuses anymore? But you can, you can use your fishing pole, you just have to equip it. The cool thing about this is if you want to just fish and not have the bonuses, you can fish and not have the bonuses, but you also, if you're raiding that night and you're known for forgetting to switch out your fishing pole for your weapon, you won't have that problem. I know I've had raiders do that. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. I've done it. Not my fishing pole. 
but let's just say I found the downside of not showing your helm because I've gone into a raid and been in a raid for a certain unmentioned amount of time with my cooking hat on. So that won't happen to me. At least not with my fishing pole. Ed's home. I'm pretty sure you can hear his jeep. I might have to edit like a minute of this out. Thursday, September 13th, they're doing more raid testing in the beta for Mr. Pandaria. So you can log on to the beta and do Garage All in Nogashan Vaults at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, that's 25 player. And then Blade Lord Tayek from Heart of Fear will be available 25 player mode as well. That will be at 4 p.m. Pacific time. I will post the link in the description. The Brewfest boss will be level 90 with more and better stuff. So they have a couple surprises for us, they say, but they're not going to tell us what. So just going to have to kill Brewfest boss a billion times and find out everything he drops. Now, it's going to be delayed a little bit because of Mr. Pandaria, so that it's not going to conflict and we will have some time to get to level 89, which is the required level to queue up for the Brewfest boss. Good times. I love Brewfest. It's great. 50% off a little monk vanity pet at the Blizzard store. So go get it now if you want it. It's probably going to be a, a one time thing because this week only. So it makes a little kung fu noises and it's freaking cute. Oh, it's hilarious on a gnome too because he's like the same size as a gnome. Slight exaggeration, but it's still funny. So that's it for news today, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play Minecraft. That was, that was fun. I was going to do a voiceover, but I thought it was just kind of, it explained itself. There was really nothing that I needed to tell you guys. So, anyways, thank you so much for your comments and your likes and subscriptions. If you like or dislike this video, let me know in the comment section below, and I would love to hear your feedback. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.